uh, hi students in uh, today's uh, class we are going to discuss about uh, python uh, uh, about uh, python features all these uh, we are going to discuss in um, uh, today's uh, session so this is uh, like uh, python plus django is there so it is uh, like a combination and uh, if you want to join only for python you can uh, join for only python course and uh, python plus django if you want to join you can join for uh, uh, both the courses so i'll tell what is uh, django uh, so why you should learn uh, uh, django along with python like all these uh, we are going to discuss in um, uh, today's uh, session so here uh, python uh, course uh, is for uh, two months only python not django okay so python i'm going to take for uh, uh, two months so within uh, two months i'll try to complete uh, all the chapters in uh, core python and also advanced python so here i will not speak about the uh, django course uh, duration I'll, I'll not speak anything about uh, django here we'll focus initially on uh, uh, python only so here uh, python is it is uh, uh, for two months i'm taking this uh, uh, course in uh, core python we are going to discuss about uh, uh, python features and then we'll discuss about uh, data types uh, python uh, data types we are going to discuss and uh, after that uh, we are uh, uh, going to uh, discuss about uh, uh, string handling installation also we'll discuss so string handling number system and then we'll discuss about uh, input function conversion functions and operators in python after that we'll discuss about if condition examples for loop examples while loop examples and then we'll discuss about collection data types data structures collection uh, data types uh, see uh, uh, let me explain something if you have any doubts uh, you can ask in the last so please give me time for explanation Wh whatever doubts you have you can ask in the uh, last you can ask and uh, here uh, i'm explaining about the collection uh, here i'm telling about collection data types and then we'll discuss about uh, string uh, manipulations uh, regular expressions then uh, functions exception handling file handling modules and packages all this in advanced python we are going to discuss about object oriented programming then uh, developing desktop applications creating windows applications with the form and controls okay uh, gui applications graphical user interface applications and then we'll discuss about internet and email multi-threading networking then uh, database programming and then uh, we'll see how to connect uh, python applications with uh, uh, mysql sql server oracle database all these after that we'll discuss about uh, web scrapping and then we'll discuss about uh, python 3.7 features 3.8 features uh, 3.9 features okay and then we'll discuss about interview questions certification uh, uh, question and answers we'll discuss and uh, we are going to discuss about the project also so this is uh, with the python uh, with the project so that project we are going to discuss in a windows application like a desktop application connecting the windows application with the database like uh, creating login form registration form like many other forms uh, we are going to create so advanced uh, python is uh, completely based on uh, gui applications console uh, core python is like a cui applications like a black and white character user interface applications advanced python is completely based on um, windows application or uh, uh, desktop application so here you are going to learn more about uh, designing the forms connecting with the database like all these uh, all these uh, we are going to discuss so in my classes uh, like what all examples we are going to discuss all the examples will be the real time uh, examples like here uh, what all we are going to discuss they are used in the there that coding everything is used in the uh, project okay and also like uh, here we are going to focus on uh, uh, like programming also programming so when i'm taking classes for uh, 
like uh, two months for core and advanced python so we'll see many programs from each chapter i'm going to cover at least 20 to uh, 25 programs i'll cover so overall uh, in core and advanced python i'm going to cover uh, three to four hundred programs so like how the offline classes will be online classes also will be in the same way i will not reduce the examples so when you learn more number of examples then your programming skills will improve so those who are not good in programming here i will focus on the theory part and also programming because uh, i will see many examples and your programming skills also will uh, will improve and here when we say about uh, uh, this uh, python so like uh, uh, students may be having some doubts like uh, let me explain then after that uh, i will give time for asking questions you can uh, uh, clarify your doubts so here when we say about uh, python here so python latest version is uh, 3.9.5 is the latest version so here i am typing python.org i am typing here python.org so here in uh, downloads it will show here python uh, 3.9.5 is the latest version so it is the latest version so 3.9 and later versions 3.9.0 9.4 9.5 all these are there so these uh, will not work in windows 7 so windows 7 and in uh, old versions it won't work if you are using python 3.9 and later versions you can use windows 8 or windows 10 you can use windows 10 is good because i'm using windows 10 pro i'm using windows 10 uh, professional i'm using so uh, python latest version uh, django latest versions uh, database uh, uh, like all databases mysql sql server oracle if you want to install any database uh, we can do in windows 10 pro in windows 10 professional uh, we can uh, do that so here when we are working with this uh, uh, python here so python is uh, called as a powerful language and it is called as a general purpose uh, uh, programming language here so why it is called as powerful language is uh, any application or any project can be developed using uh, using python so that uh, possibility is uh, there here so it is like java and uh, uh, c sharp in dot net it will work uh, like that so it is called as a general purpose programming language so general purpose programming language means like uh, any type of applications or any type of projects can be developed in python so it is uh, for general it is for uh, all it is for any type of application so we cannot say like uh, python is for one category of application so python we can use it for uh, any type of application or any category of application so using python we can develop a uh, desktop applications or windows application and uh, we can uh, develop websites using python and we can develop scientific applications networking applications and we can develop games or animation softwares like all these we can develop using python that possibility is there here and uh, this uh, python is uh, developed by Guido van rosen in the year uh, 1989 okay so in uh, at that time it is introduced as an internal project for mathematical research institute called cwi located in netherlands and within two years it is the release for uh, introduced uh, uh, release for public so that it companies or other companies can use uh, python python software they can develop applications then they can use a uh, python for some other uh, purpose like all this is being done okay so python software or python language is introduced in the year 1989 and for public it is released in the year 1991 it is uh, released and uh, when you are working with uh, like when we say java so java is introduced uh, in the year 1995 it is introduced okay and dot uh, net is introduced in the year uh, 2000 so before java before dot net microsoft.net this uh, uh, python is there here python is a very old language we can say okay but uh, uh, but in python we can see many new versions are coming in python and uh, new technologies uh, new frameworks are coming in python 
like all this is uh, uh, happening here okay so here when we say about this python like it is not uh, very popular from the beginning uh, yes from the starting it is not very popular from last seven eight years it has become very popular okay so like why it is uh, silent for so many years suddenly why it has become very popular like all these uh, we are going to see in uh, uh, today's uh, session we are going to discuss so when we are saying about this uh, uh, python here so python software or python language we should not see in one angle so python is uh, used for uh, mathematical and uh, numerical calculations so whenever you want to develop scientific applications and whenever you want to develop a mathematical and numerical calculations then by using uh, so by using python uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we can do it and uh, python is uh, used uh, python is uh, automation expert like whatever work we are doing manually like sitting in front of the system opening the applications or opening the websites or uh, typing and uh, clicking on the buttons whatever work we are doing manually in the applications or in any software so that manual work can be automated by using python so python we can call it as uh, automation uh, automation expert okay and here while working with this uh, uh, python here so python is used to handle even uh, big data also okay like when you are working with uh, social networking applications or social networking websites like uh, when you work with uh, facebook or twitter or instagram or when you work with other social networking sites uh, like uh, these uh, websites works with a large amount of data like millions of users uh, will work with the website so day to day these websites will works with large amount of data which is in terabytes or petabytes okay so to uh, to handle the data related to websites or applications then uh, python is used so python programs or python scripts are used to handle the data large amount of data related to the uh, websites here and uh, when we are working with e-commerce websites online shopping websites they also deals with large amount of data users details transactions details and when you take cloud computing applications like which are maintained by uh, amazon web services or uh, like when we say uh, like a uh, google or microsoft azure while working with cloud applications cloud computing applications like they also used by like uh, thousands of users or millions of users will access the web applications so like uh, when when we are using working with social networking sites or when we are working with uh, e-commerce websites or cloud computing applications all these will works with a huge amount of data which is in uh, terabytes or petabytes so if you want to handle the data manage the data then python programs or python uh, scripts uh, python scripts uh, can be uh, can be used we can uh, uh, we can do that that possibility is uh, there here okay and uh, using uh, python any application or any software can be developed so python is not for uh, a uh, one category of application any application any software can be developed using uh, python that possibility is there like uh, those who know about old versions of python they may say that uh, python has interpreter it works slow like in python we cannot do this we cannot do that they may say like that but those who know about latest versions of python then they will not speak all this okay because in latest versions we can see many uh, features like uh, uh, many uh, lot of new things are introduced in uh, uh, python latest versions we can uh, so we can see okay so here when we do comparison with uh, uh, java and uh, python when we compare okay so as i said before like java is introduced in uh, 1995 dotnet is introduced in the year uh, uh, 2000 it is being uh, uh, introduced okay so here when we are working with this uh, like when you work with java so java is popular from the beginning uh, days it is very popular so when we say about this uh, uh, like uh, java like using java we can develop enterprise applications which are used in companies or which are used in different systems like enterprise applications uh, can also be used in legacy systems 
like old systems which are used in companies okay and using java we can develop uh, websites and uh, using uh, java we can develop uh, mobile applications all this is uh, possible okay and uh, here uh, when we see the graph of uh, java now okay like if you take countries like us like their java market is uh, uh, it is already uh, down but python market is increasing python and uh, python related courses market is increasing because in their uh, like universities python is there and python related courses are there and uh, like most of the projects uh, will be with uh, python and python related courses only like for example if you take uh, in india like uh, java market is down and the uh, python market is stable here okay and uh, here if you take uh, like uh, for freshers like for if you take java freshers or python freshers those join like for python freshers they are paying more compared with java freshers and uh, like for uh, uh, for experienced people those who are having uh, uh, four or five years experience like uh, for java people they may get uh, more salary compared with uh, python uh, experience employees why because this like uh, in india and in other uh, countries java is popular from so many years and many clients or many companies their their projects are in java only okay so the they will uh, uh, the companies which are already in into in into java they will continue with that like uh, for really for uh, new versions uh, in uh, for their projects for projects also new versions will be there okay for new versions in their projects and for uh, enhancements and all they may use uh, java only okay so suddenly they cannot shift to python so they'll uh, continue with it but uh, for new companies or startup companies first choice is uh, python because in python many uh, features are there so which are not in uh, uh, other languages okay so even for python also after 4 5 years like they may get uh, experience even em experienced employees they may get more salary like uh, compared with uh, java uh, professionals okay and here coming to this uh, uh, python here as i told before in python we can develop different applications so we can develop desktop applications we can develop websites and we can develop scientific applications networking applications and we can develop uh, games or animation softwares like all these we can uh, all these we can develop so that uh, that uh, possibility is uh, uh, there here okay and here uh, like uh, when you learn python when students learn python core and advanced python then uh, they can apply as uh, uh, developers like uh, for programmers uh, jobs they can apply for as a developers they can apply and uh, they can join as a programmer uh, with a core and advanced uh, uh, python okay and uh, here uh, with uh, python other uh, trending courses are there which are having very good demand uh, now like uh, after learning uh, python so here uh, while learning python you can learn uh, ui technologies web technologies will say so which contains html javascript css jquery uh, bootstrap dom all these are there like for any programmer ui technologies is mandatory so those who want to work as a python developer java developer or dotnet developer or those who want to go for other courses even those who are interested in testing also software testing so for for anyone uh, ui technologies or web technologies that course is uh, mandatory if you already know html or if you already know css then it is good but to those who don't know html javascript css jquery bootstrap document object model all these like while learning python then uh, parallelly you can learn uh, ui technologies course so it is another course you can finish within 45 days okay and after completing uh, python you can learn django django or django you can learn so django is a framework it is completely developed in python okay it is having python files or python modules are there so in django also we'll write python coding python code will be there so if you want to learn django or django 
so you should know python first like at least core python or if you complete core and advanced python then you can learn django so it is a framework used for developing uh, websites so whenever you want to develop websites then uh, django we can uh, use it so in uh, websites we'll see two tools here front end and back end client side and server side we'll say with websites okay so like here when we say front end and back end here client side server side so django is a server side technology or it is a back end technology used for developing dynamic websites whenever you want to create a dynamic websites then a django framework or django back end technology or server side technology we can uh, uh, use it okay so in django uh, we are going to use html javascript css jquery bootstrap dom all these are used all these are front end technologies client side technologies all these are used in the website development okay so in a dj in python classes i will not tell anything related to uh, ui technologies or web technologies so we are not going to discuss about html css jquery in python classes because here you are going to learn about programming you are, here you are going to learn language okay so in django classes you are going to learn about uh, client side technologies and also server side technology also you you can uh, learn so if you learn all these stm if you learn python ui technologies like web technologies and django like all this is like a combination okay so when you learn all these uh, three as a combination then you can apply for a programmer as a programmer you can apply as a developer so uh, when you go for interviews they may ask do you, you uh, do you know uh, ui technologies or client side technologies or if you know django server side technologies again uh, if you say no then they may not give chance to work uh, like in their company okay so that's why uh, you have to learn all these three as a combination when you learn these three courses then you can apply as a programmer if you are interested as a to go as programmer then three you can uh, learn okay so because when you put all this in a resume and if you go for interviews so definitely the companies will give you chance to work on python or else on django like uh, in django you can use uh, all the ui technologies uh, can be uh, used and here after learning python you can go for other courses also like after learning python you can learn devops or you can learn aws amazon web services or else you can um, or else you can learn data science machine learning deep learning artificial intelligence is there and uh, you, you can learn iot internet of things and uh, you can learn uh, uh, vlsa embedded systems and uh, after that uh, you can uh, learn reporting tools testing tools like a sas and all these are there like uh, python is uh, used in all these okay so here we have many options depends on the requirement you can learn any one of these courses like if you want to learn uh, testing tools in testing tools instead of java if you want to use python you can uh, use it so that uh, that uh, possibility is uh, is uh, there here okay only with python you can get jobs and after that you can learn other courses also which are having very good demand in the market and you can uh, survive with the python and other courses for long time like uh, for every 2 3 years uh, like uh, learning new course means it is very difficult but if you uh, choose uh, the course which is having good demand and which will be there for long time like at least for 10 years or at least for uh, 10 12 years or 15 years if it is there okay then uh, you can uh, uh, continue with the uh, same uh, technology you can uh, uh, continue so here uh, uh, with uh, python python is uh, treated as additional skill if you learn python it will not go waste because uh, python is used in uh, many uh, softwares in many other courses we can see python and depends on the requirement or demand you can learn the other courses and you can uh, go with so using python you can uh, go for technical jobs 
and also python is used for non technical jobs also so you can uh, do do programming and also you can uh, you if you want to work uh, in other areas like uh, uh, take uh, tech support or anything we can uh, yeah, even that is also possible here and uh, those are working as uh, uh, sql developers and those who are working as administrators so if you are interested in uh, administrator area like uh, if you want to work as system administrator or network administrator or database administrator or if you are working as a sql developer sql developer working with databases creating tables creating procedures stored procedures creating triggers like all these even for sql developers even for administrators like python is useful python scripting is very useful why because is like whatever tasks are done by the administrators then it, the administrative tasks can be done by python python programs or python scripts can do it even for sql developers also whatever programs that the developer is writing sql developer sql developer even those programs we can do with uh, python scripting so in the uh, using python scripting developer tasks sql developer tasks administrative tasks can be done with uh, python so that uh, that possibility is uh, uh, there here okay so here uh, when we are working with this uh, python here so in python we can see different flavors here like uh, c python is there j python then iron python ruby python many are there many flavors are there okay so when we say about this uh, uh, c python here <laughs> like uh, python language default implementation is a uh, c python python language is there that language default implementation is uh, c python okay so it is uh, written in uh, c and also in python so c libraries are there python modules or python files will be there so it is a uh, it is the default implementation and it is most widely used implementation here so when students are learning python it means that the student is learning what c python so student is uh, learning a c python here okay and here while working with this uh, c python it is developed by gudo van rossum as i told before as i said before it is uh, uh, developed by uh, gudo van rossum okay so here when you are learning uh, uh, this uh, python here it means that you are learning uh, c python when you are working with the djang also their c python is uh, uh, used here we can see many flavors but the python language default implementation is c python if you are downloading a python software and if you are practicing then it means that what you are downloading you are downloading c python and you are working with uh, the programs here okay so here uh, uh, when we uh, when we say about this uh, python here like uh, python is uh, not popular from uh, uh, beginning from the starting years it is not popular from last 7 8 years uh, uh, it has become very popular okay like uh, now like uh, uh, when uh, python is uh, start, when it has uh, start becoming popular like uh, the some people used to say like it will be for 2 3 years again uh, uh, people may forget python means uh, it is not like that okay so here uh, day by day python demand is increasing then uh, uh, many are learning python like uh, uh, like uh, students are learning python and uh, in it companies python softwares uh, they are developing python softwares python applications is being developed like all these uh, is uh, all this is happening here okay so in future also uh, for python it will have very good demand now it is equal to other popular languages like java so uh, within 2 3 years it will be in a top place so now it is uh, having very good demand because python related courses are very popular so they are very like they are trending courses now okay and here why uh, suddenly it has become very popular is when we see the versions of uh, python like uh, python 1.0 2.0 then 2.7 python 2.7 is uh, very uh, popular 2.7 after that python 3.0 then uh, 3.6 then uh, 3. Uh, 
uh, 3.9. Now the latest version is a 3.9.5 is the latest version. Okay. So like uh, when you take Python 3.0, Python 3.0 is introduced as a new language. It is introduced as an independent language. Okay. So we can see there is a break here. We can say before Python 3.0 and after Python 3.0. So Python 3.0 is a version of Python language, but it is introduced as a, a new language or a independent language. <laughs> so it has got all the new features, like uh, many new concepts are introduced in Python 3.0 and whatever old features are there, they are not carried into new version. Like uh, here, uh, backward uh, compatibility is not there. Backward compatibility means Python 3.0 is not supporting uh, the features of old versions in python okay so the, they have given a new new face to python 3.0 it has got all new features and new concepts and everything is a new only so from python 3.0 the demand for python software started increasing it companies they have started using python like before that only in some companies python is used only in some universities Python is there as their syllabus, all this. Okay. But after Python 3.0 is introduced, like uh, we can see, like how the demand uh, uh, started uh, increasing. So after Python 3.0, we can see uh, Python uh, uh, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, all these are there. So in all these, backward compatibility is there. Now Python 3.9 is there. Python 3.9 supports the features of 3.8, 3.7, 3.6, and 3.0 also. Now the latest version is 3.9.5 is there. So 3.9.5 supports the features of all the previous versions up to 3.0. Okay, so here uh, Python software is, uh, now it is maintained by uh, Python Software Foundation. Here you can see. So father of uh, Python is Guido Van Rossum. Okay. But now Python software is maintained by Python Software Foundation, or we can say Python community. Python community. So thousands of programmers or lakhs of programmers are working for this, uh, are working for this software. So updating this software, adding new features, releasing new frameworks, releasing new technologies, like all these. Uh, uh, all these uh, they are uh, they are doing here okay so here while working with this uh, uh, like when we say python software foundation python community is a very large community many people are working for this great software so python software we can say great software so great people are working for this uh, uh, great uh, software and uh, these uh, python community like members in python community they are available in other sites in social networking sites, in forums, in QA science, they are available. And those are working on live projects or real-time projects if they have any technical issue and if they are unable to do the task and they can communicate with the Python community uh, members and they can uh, do the task easily. So while working with uh, Python and other Python related projects, while working with real-time projects, like uh, no need to worry about like uh, can I be able to do the task or will anybody will help me in the project like seniors or somebody else? No need to worry about that because many people are there uh, to help the people working on live or real time projects. It can be uh, the project can be in Python or Django or it can be on data science or machine learning or deep learning or I want anything Python related courses. So they will give you the technical uh, uh, assistance uh, uh, they will give. Okay. And here, when we are working with this uh, uh, Python here, so Python is uh, called as a, a beginner's uh, language here. So Python will call it as a beginner's language. So uh, uh, like in uh, Python, anyone can learn. IT students can learn Python. Non-IT students also can learn Python without having any programming knowledge or without knowing C language basics, they can directly start Python language. So it is like a nursery level, like in, anybody can understand. Those are from uh, a non IT. Those are like those are from civil engineering or mechanical engineering, automobile engineering, 
and uh, those are from uh, uh, electrical and electronics and uh, those are from uh, uh, mba marketing mba finance or those are from uh, commerce background like anyone can learn this uh, python it is called as beginner's language so it is uh, simple and it is uh, easy to learn and it is easy to use so it is a simple uh, uh, programming uh, language here it is very simple it has got a simplicity so it is not difficult like uh, c or java it is a uh, simple why because is python syntaxes are simple uh, rules and regulations we can easily follow and uh, python is a uh, more understandable and more readability will be there so it is like a uh, sentence like uh, english uh, paragraphs will read no like that we can read it is more understandable and it is uh, more readable also like uh, the coding will be very simple like uh, we cannot say this with uh, c or uh, with java we cannot say okay so here uh, when we say it is uh, easy to learn because all these things are there and it is easy to use also learning is easy working with python software is also easy and it is called as a friendly language so friendly language means those who are learning python they can understand they, they can understand the programming so when they when they understand the programming then only we'll say friendly if the if the student is not understanding anything we can say it is a, a friendly language like that we cannot say friendly means a student will understand the code and uh, will try to implement the code all these uh, will happen all these will happen okay so uh, like those who are having uh, doubt like can i learn this can i understand this like i don't have any programming knowledge i am not into this it can i learn python any anybody can learn python those who are having interest to learn uh, language you can learn and all will understand uh, all the chapters in uh, core and advanced python but uh, this is a, a friendly language it is easy only but even for python also uh, practice is uh, important practice is mandatory so without practice uh, learning language means uh, like uh, if i say it is uh, easy <laughs> and if students are not doing practice then how they how they will learn programming it is not possible practice is very very important so practice uh, make it perfect those who do more practice then their programming skills will improve even for non it students also if they do more practice then they can do programming uh, uh, well and they can be in a good position so those are having good programming skills within a few years they'll be in top list those are not having good programming skills they have to depend on others like uh, all these uh, uh, issues will be there okay and here when we are saying about this uh, uh, python uh, here it is uh, called as uh, python software or python language is uh, lightweight so lightweight means we'll say uh, write uh, uh, less do more write less do more why because is a python software foundation or python community they have already developed hundreds of modules thousands of modules thousands of uh, python files that they have developed okay so by using them application development is uh, fast applications can be developed very fast so that uh, that possibility is uh, that possibility is there here so applications can be developed uh, very fast okay and uh, here like when we work with uh, python here we'll write less lines of code so here we no need to write uh, hundreds of lines of code here so with less lines of code we can develop applications or projects like if you take uh, c or java we have to write hundreds of lines of code or thousands of lines of code sometimes uh, kilometers of lines of code we have to do okay so in python less coding will be there because like in python by using the modules which are already developed then uh, we can make use of the modules and we can develop applications in uh, python 90% of the coding is already done so from our side while developing applications we should give 10% of the code only 10% but with other languages we have to do from the scratch from the beginning so when we do this like uh, there uh, in other languages 90% plus 10% we should give when you are writing 100% coding then every time you will be doing coding only so it will take uh, 
uh, days together to complete the project. It will take many days because you are giving uh, everything for that project. Okay, but in Python, 90% of the coding is already done. It is ready. Then uh, from our side, we'll give 10% and it is uh, the application is uh, development is done very fast. Okay, and uh, uh, here uh, learning Python, it will take two months. Core and advanced Python, it takes two months. After that, uh, developing applications, we can uh, done fast when it is compared with other uh, uh, programming languages. And here Python applications are also lightweight. Python software or Python languages, Python language is uh, uh, lightweight here. And uh, Python applications are also lightweight. Whatever applications you develop, desktop applications or websites or scientific applications or networking applications, whatever applications you develop, they are, they are uh, uh, lightweight, uh, they are lightweight applications here. Okay, so lightweight application means it takes less memory and it works uh, and it will work uh, fast. Okay, so Python software or Python language is lightweight and uh, Python, uh, Python applications are also lightweight. Okay, like for example, nowadays when we do shopping or when we buy anything like a mobile or laptop, or when we buy clothes or sandals, like we'll see whether it is lightweight or not. Okay, even when we take food also, we'll see whether it is light, lightweight or light food or not. So in for everything, we are choosing lightweight. So Python software, Python language is lightweight and Python applications are also lightweight. So they takes less memory and works faster, even uh, uh, websites also, okay. And here, when you take Python, it is platform independent and it is a machine independent. Like for Java, one slogan is to be there. Write once, run anywhere. Like in the beginning years, it is very popular. Now also that word, that sentence uh, slogan is there. So Java is platform independent and machine independent. So when you take Python, Python is a platform independent and it is machine independent. So it is platform independent at a development and also at production in, in both. So like uh, uh, while learning Python or while practicing Python, while learning Python, while practicing uh, Python or while developing applications in Python, we can use any OS. We can use Windows, Unix, Linux, Mac OS, anything we can use. Why? Because this is a, Python software foundation or Python community, they have developed Python software for Windows, Python software for Unix, Python software for Linux, Python software for Mac OS and for other operating systems. So Python software foundation, they did not develop Python only for Windows. They have developed Python for Python software for different operating systems. Here you can see on the screen, download latest version for windows and looking for python for different operating systems like windows unix linux mac os you can select you can uh, download and you can uh, download and you can uh, use it so that uh, that possibility is uh, that possibility is there here okay so python is a uh, platform independent at development development means uh, you we can say while learning while practicing Okay, while developing applications, any OS we can use. And uh, Python is a, a platform independent at production also. So production means if you develop any Python application, then it will run in other operating systems without doing any changes. If I develop a Python application in uh, Windows, then that Python application will run in other operating systems uh, without uh, doing any changes and it will run in other uh, machines uh, without doing any changes. So Python program will run in uh, uh, any machine with a uh, different CPU architectures. We, in any uh, system, it will work. So how it is possible is uh, in Python, we are having a PVM, Python virtual machine, like a JVM, Java virtual machine. So when we install Python virtual machine uh, in, uh, uh, in uh, that particular system, Okay, when we install PVM, when we install virtual machine in physical machine, in the physical system, then the application can run in any OS 
and application can run in any machine because uh, uh, with the help of uh, python virtual machine it will works about python virtual machine how it is going to work all we'll see in uh, next sessions we are going to discuss and here when we are working with this uh, python python has a scalability like performance is very good in python so python programs or applications will works faster compared with the java applications so when i'm saying the students may be having doubt like how this is going to happen how this will uh, uh, work so uh, today uh, we cannot discuss everything like uh, in the next session we are going to discuss how the java program will work how the python program will works uh, why python programs works faster compared with java like uh, where this uh, python virtual machine will works all these we are going to discuss in next session like why the uh, performance or scalability is very good all this okay and here when we are working with this python using python we can develop versatile uh, uh, applications so whenever you want to develop different categories of applications whenever you want to develop highly secured applications or scientific computing applications or else if you want to develop applications for government organizations private organizations or any business or any company then uh, python software can be can be used okay so in the beginning of this class as i told uh, python is used for mathematical and numerical calculations and uh, python is used for automation and uh, python is uh, used to handle big data and python is used to develop any application any application can be developed okay and here when we are working with uh, python python software is lightweight python applications are lightweight and uh, python is uh, portable so portable means it is platform independent at development and at production and it is machine independent also and uh, python has a scalability performance is good and uh, using python any application or any project we can develop all these things are there okay so students uh, i am stopping now and uh, tomorrow i am not taking class on uh, monday continuation will be there so monday will be the next uh, session so monday we are going to discuss about how the java program will works uh, python program will works how python virtual machine will works like uh, python uh, how it is called compiled and interpreted then we'll see the difference uh, like uh, uh, what is the use of other uh, software related to python uh, like uh, what are desktop applications and uh, like we'll see uh, what is what are the testing frameworks and uh, we'll discuss about what is data science what is artificial intelligence and uh, we'll we are going to discuss about many other concepts related to uh, python so if uh, still some are having any doubts like with uh, when you listen to my sessions like two three sessions then all your doubts will be uh, cleared okay so students if you want to ask anything now you can ask me now so if anything to ask you can uh, ask if any doubts are there you can ask okay then okay, uh, i am stopping now and uh, monday will continue okay tomorrow no class monday will continue thank you sir okay